Hey guys, Phoenix Productions here, and today I'm here to make an announcement. So I've talked about this briefly on other occasions, but I am going to be starting a podcast with some friends. Uh, my friend Jacob and my friend Tyler will be uh, my co-hosts. Uh, Tyler, I'm not sure if he'll be there all the time, but Jacob uh, most certainly is like my cohort, co-host. Uh, it's like midnight right now. So I've been wanting to do a podcast since like 2021. I know now it's like kind of a meme, you know, start a podcast with the boys. Uh, but I've been wanting to do this for ages. And uh, over the summer, we actually recorded a podcast episode. Um, and we weren't all too prepared. I mean, we had talked about it for a while. But, you know, when it comes to equipment, so I'm not counting that as podcast episode one. I'm counting that as sort of a pilot episode just to test the waters. Uh, but long-term viewers of the channel might recognize uh, Jacob. And uh, my friend Rob was also in it. Uh, Rob and I actually had a YouTube channel a long time ago. Uh, it's called Phantom Maniacs now. It's one of my featured channels. Um, so it was the four of us and we did this pilot episode uh, the quality was pretty crappy because it was literally just recorded with uh, my computer mic in this Logitech C920. Uh, but I'm still uploading it. I'm going to be uploading it uh, this Wednesday. Uh, so that is the day after Halloween. I will be uploading it. So first video of November will be a one hour long podcast episode. Uh, one hour is kind of the length I'm going for, for my podcast, the Phoenix Productions podcast. Um, so yeah, pilot episode is releasing this Wednesday, kind of low quality, but if you guys are interested in all the crazy shenanigans that we're going to be talking about, then definitely check it out. And I'm going to be leaving a 10 minute little sampler of the podcast or 10 minutes might be too much because it's only an hour, so that's, like, a lot, uh, I'll see, I'll leave a little sample of the podcast in this video, uh, because the quality is really not the best, um, but I think, uh, our conversations, uh, make up for that, now, uh, when is the actual podcast starting, you know, episode one, two, I'm um, thinking about making it weekly, or actually, bi-weekly might be a little more realistic, um, we are gonna, like, we're gonna try our best to make this a thing, uh, so it's definitely not gonna be too much, uh, but bi-weekly at least and weekly at most, um, and that'll be starting in 2024, I'm actually getting some assistance by, from my friend Cooper, um, some really long-term viewers might recognize Cooper as Spacey. Uh, he used to stream Fortnite, and so um, he's actually, we're in talks of uh, acquiring some equipment that he used to use in his streams um, and using that for the podcast setup, which is actually at Jacob's house. So that's Corn on the Jacob, one of my featured channels, if you want to check that out. Uh, so yeah, podcast, we're starting it, uh, 2024, it's really gonna start out, but, um, I'm gonna have a bit of a sample episode that is a whole hour coming out on the channel on Wednesday, so hope you guys enjoyed that, uh, it's not, it, there's really something for everyone, uh, that watches this channel there, I know I do, like, gaming stuff, I do, like, Lego crap, sometimes, um, we talk about everything, like, uh, you'll see in the little sample episode, we go from, like, talking about shitting our pants to Spider-Man, to Minecraft, to this and that, um, so, it, there's some interesting stuff cooking there, so, I hope you guys are interested, and I hope you guys check out that episode releasing on Wednesday, here on the channel, uh, and without further ado, let's get into the little sample clip of the podcast starting now. Um, yeah, and then he kept yelling at me, at a point he laughed at me because snot came out of my nose onto the essay. <laughs> 
Why would all of them have to do with either vomit or snot or something? And, and or I, laughing. I, I started laughing a bit because it it like it was string. It was a string from the paper. I have a snot story. Actually, shut the fuck up. <laughs> to my nose, and I was sitting there dying, laughing, crying at the same time. And he's at that point, he had his hand on my shoulder, like tight on it, and he was like, "What the fuck are you laughing for?" And then he was also like, what the fuck are you crying for? And just being bipolar about that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's just yelling and that. Eventually, I got the essay done. That and night? No. Do you know what the essay was about? <laughs> no. So you have a vivid memory about... I remember not that. Writing I don't essay. remember writing it. He has a memory about not writing it. <laughs> I, I got trauma with Sephir stuff, not the essay. I okay. remember the trauma. Okay. I too have trauma from an English project. And why don't you that? explain that? Um, so it was this project where you had to create a country, right? No. You had to create your own country what? and make a map. It had railroads and roads and like infrastructure okay. and oh, put I, the capital somewhere. I did that, but mine actually that was like one of the most pleasant projects. Because wait, what grade were you in? Fourth. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no, third. Fourth would be horrible. No, the third to, like, seventh grade projects are always, like, the, the demons that lurk under my bed at night. <laughs> demons that lurk under my bed. No, so, but, like, I was doing great, right? And, like, I was being creative. I was making Unicornia. And the capital was uh, Jacob Land or something. Uh, oh, maybe it was I, Moscow. I thought it was going to be something by accidentally racist. <laughs> No, it was very, um, it was very mild and mild. racially sensitive. All right. And, uh... That's good, that's good. I was doing a great job. That's and then good. my parents were, like, freaking out because I got, like, a very bad grade. So they wanted to help me with my project. And they come over and they see, like, my handwriting's awful. It's, like, god-awful. It says unicorny at the top and you can barely read it. So they make me painstakingly try to rewrite it over and over. And it takes me 30 minutes and I get halfway through the word and I get... To the R. And the R. My brother is sitting at the table and he's showing me. He has like a scrap piece of paper. He's like, okay, so it's like this. Uh-huh. So it's like this, this scrap piece of paper, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. But, sorry. Paper, I'm, not, I'm not trying to interrupt you, but my uncle would always grab like like whenever he would help me or my dad, they would always grab like a like a an, a used envelope yes. and they'd be like, This is how you do it. <laughs> they write the whole problem on it. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. You understand this. Drink it it was probably an envelope, honestly. Drink it, keep talking. But it was I like, like how your brother's the one doing it. Yeah, and he kept showing He's me Okay, this you go down, and you go back up, and there's a little thing to the side. And I did it. And he goes, No no no, you're doing it wrong, that looks awful. And so we sat there. For I think two hours <laughs> oh on God. the R, the R. <laughs> and I was breaking down, crying like I don't. You had, three, you had like uh, like I think like either three or four letters left. Because yeah. unicorn Nia. <laughs> yeah. So I was sitting there for so long, like tears streaming down my face. The entire page was soaked, and I had to redo the entire thing. Jacob, I have a question. Can you do the R now? <laughs> I don't think my brother would be. He'd probably make me sit and redo it if I did one now. <laughs> you can't day. write an R. Well, I can, but like it was like it's just really messy, and it was like you wanted it to be like fancy, like oh, I mean, not fancy, but like neat handwriting. All, and all, I can't do neat. In all fairness, do you still have the project? <laughs> no, it's gone. In all fairness, I once forgot how to write the letter M. I'm dead fucking serious. I forgot how to spell barbecue. Like BBQ, oh, I forgot how to spell I, that for some I, reason. I forgot how to spell, the write the letter M, and my, at the time, like, seven-year-old cousin had to teach me how to write the letter fuck. No, it was, the, yeah, the letter M. I just couldn't do it. I was having so, I guess I would write an N with, like, a weird, like, offshoot of a line. <laughs> It was for like an hour that I just forgot how to write the letter M, and then I remembered. I was like, "Oh, that's how you do that." I just remembered the the, the weirdest the, the, story I have from homework was th- this one isn't even like traumatizing. This is it was was just annoying and weird. My mom had this like little oh, no. crab toy <laughs> oh, no. that she would always bring out. Blue. <laughs> she would always bring out when I did math problems, and she's like, Krabby's here to help you. Oh, shit. Krabby's like, you're real violent. <laughs> <laughs> Krabby almost.